Welcome to aminacademy.com. In business mathematics, let us discuss about arithmetic progression, that is AP. An arithmetic progression, AP, is a sequence of a number in order in which the difference between any two consecutive numbers is a constant value. It is also called arithmetic sequence. For example, the series of natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like it goes, is an good example for arithmetic progression because difference between two consecutive numbers is always same, that is 1. Now, look at here. In general, in AP, that is in arithmetic progression, first term, let it be A, a common difference. Common difference is D. Number of terms equal to n. Then here the common difference is d. Number of terms is n. Therefore, nth term nth term can be expressed as a plus n minus one d. For example, consider. In general, we can say a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d, like a plus n minus 1d is the general expression for an AP with their first term is a and common difference is d, number of term is n. Now, Look at an example. Suppose AP arithmetic progression is given 8, 11, 14, and 17. The terms goes like you have to find nth term formula for here. Here A is 8. Common difference is 11 minus 8 or 14 minus 11, which is equal 3. Therefore, nth term equal a n minus 1 d, which is equal a is 8, n minus 1 d is 3. So, simplifying 8 plus 3 n minus 3, which is equal 5 plus 3 n is nth term d n. From this formula, we can find, suppose this term, what is 20th term? Twentieth term in this series, that is AP is equal 5 plus 3 into 20, which is equal 65. Like any number of term, we can find. Suppose one more AP is 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 7 minus 10. This is also AP. How? Because here A is 2, D is common difference is minus 1 minus 2 equal to minus 3 or minus 4 of minus of minus 1 also minus 3. Then at the term equal a n minus 1 d a is 2 n minus 1 d is minus 3 which is equal to minus 3 n that is minus 3 a 10 is minus 3 n minus 3 into minus 1 is plus 3. Therefore, and the term is 5 minus 3n. From this, any number of term we can find.
here and some type of questions here which term of the progression example which term of arithmetic progression 9 14 19 is 109 which means regarding this AP 9 14 19 and it goes like next is uh, 20 in 45 more is 24 like it goes <coughs> which term which number of term is 109 here the given A is 9 common difference D is 14 minus 9 which is 5 then Tn T Tn that is Tn is A n minus 1 D which is equal here 109 because that nth term is given 109 here so we are applying the values 9 n is uh, 5 common difference n is n because we need that n then common difference is 5 which is equal 109 so 9 phi n minus 5 equal 109 phi n plus 5 equal 109 then phi n equal 109 minus 5 it's not 5 this is 4 Minus five, which is equal to four here, because uh, nine minus five is four. Four. That is five n equal one zero five. N equal one zero five over five is twenty one. Therefore, we know that it's a twenty one the term. 21st twenty first term is one zero nine. And this AP twenty first term is one zero nine. Now one more type of question number of terms you have to find. Example AP is given as thirteen nineteen thirteen nineteen twenty five it goes end with two zero five find number of terms find number of terms. Here A is 13. Common difference is 19 minus 13 is 6 and nth term. Nth term is 205. You have to find n equal to what. Now in AP nth term equal 13 plus n minus 1 6 d 6 which is equal to 0 5 here <coughs> number of terms you find here look at here which is equal 13 plus 6 n minus 6 equal 
13 minus 6 is 7. 7 plus 6 and equal to 205. 6 and, 6 and equal to 205 minus 7. 6 and equal to 198. Therefore, n equal 198 by 6 equal 36 or 18. And 36 are 33 number. 33 terms are there. There are 33 terms in the AP. Here, next question, find four numbers in AP, find four terms in AP whose sum is whose sum is sum is 20 and whose sum of square is and sum of whose square is 120. Here four terms of AP we have to use it the terms terms four terms means A minus 3D a minus D, A plus D, and A plus 3D. We are keeping because the common difference is everywhere. You have to D here. Then four terms are there. You have to keep A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D. Then squares sum first sum is a minus 3d a minus d a plus d a plus 3d equal to 20 so here how many a's are there 1 2 3 4 a then minus 3d minus minus 4d here plus 4d 0 so addition is 0 here 20 there is no d here then which gives a is 20 divided by 4 equal 5 a equal to 5 and next given thing is sum of the squares sum of the squares equal to 120. Sum of the square means a minus 3d square plus a minus d the square a plus d the square a plus 3d the square. Which simplifying that means expanding a minus 3d whole square a minus d square a plus d square a plus 3d whole square gives 4 into a square plus y d square which is equal 120. We can expand this and we can write this answer then. Four already we got a is five. A squared is y square plus y d square to one twenty. Why? 
25 plus y d square equal 120 divided by 4 equal 30. Then y d square equal 30 minus 25 equal 5. Then d square equal to 5 over 5 equal 1. Then d equal plus or minus 1. So we have to find four numbers with starting with 5 and common difference is 1. Therefore, we can write the numbers are a minus 3d, a minus d, a plus d and a plus 3d. Supply a and positive 1, a equal to we have a equal to 5, d equal to 1 here, y minus 3 into 1, y minus 1, 5 plus 1, 5 plus 3 into 1, which are 2, 4, 6, 8. These are numbers and reverse also are 8, 6, 4, 2. Therefore, the numbers are numbers. The numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 8, 6, 4, 2. If you are using d equal to minus 1, this set will come. Here, so far we discussed about uh, what is arithmetic progression and find its nth term, common difference and number of terms like some example problem we have done. In further videos, we'll go detail problems. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.